So we've got four minutes. I'm going to try and show you something else just really, really quick, just for fun. And we're going to pretend it's a new demo. Oh, hey, everybody, I'm Chris. Oh, OK, great. We did it. We're on a new demo. All right. So we go to our site here. And uh, last was the last week or the week before. I don't know. Sometime I was in Vegas with some of these other guys and we set up this exciting list. Uh, and all of it is fed with this, you know, Microsoft form. Um, we've shown some of that on how to do that. But our whole idea is it comes to this list, right? So we've got data coming in, and that's exciting. And we want to do something else here. So I've created a couple of views, right? I've got a honeycomb view, which is a cool one. It doesn't really mean anything in this case, but it's very pretty. I've got a recent comments view that just shows the last three uh, items that came in and kind of shows their comments, you know, bigger to smaller. Um, and then I can even add a new view, right? So I'm going to create a new view. And we're going to call this a uh, heat map. And we're going to make this like this here. So now it's just like this. And I'm going to run over to our uh, GitHub PNP list formatting repo. I'm going to go to our view samples and I'm going to run down and I'm going to grab a sample called heat map, which is a, a new one we've put in here. And I'm just going to grab the JSON for that directly. And it's a big one. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down <laughs> one moment. OK, so it is a big one. All right, so I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to paste that here. at the current view and I'm going to advance mode and I'm going to paste that sucker. Right, so we can see what that looks like. Let's preview that. Ah, now there's something wrong, which is my state column is slightly different. So I think it states here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to swap out the column. I hit a control F just so you're aware you can do that. So wherever it says states, I actually want in my list my column is state, right, with single. So I'm just going to replace all of those. And let's preview that. And there we go. Now we've got it working. Right, so what's happening here is this is a layered um, uh, SVG, right? So the idea is we are using absolute positioning, and we are positioning these SVGs one over the other, and then we are drawing at opacity 0.2 whenever a state is included in our column. Uh, the state, and what that does is it has the effect of darkening the state uh, the more times it's mentioned, right? So we get this kind of heat map approach. So that's a cool way to visualize our list. So we're going to save that, and then we're going to add one more because we've got a goal in mind here. We're going to create a new view, and we're going to call this one gauge, and we'll just create that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we're going to take this, and we're going to add a totals column, right? So we're going to say on our rating, we want an average What's the average rating? That's exciting. Um, and then we're going to come in here and we're going to uh, show and hide columns because we only care about the one column in this case. Uh, so let's go over here and where's the show hide columns over here? Add columns, show hide columns. And we're going to take away everything but our rating column for this one. We're going to apply, make sure we've got everything here. All right. And then we're going to format the current view. And I'm going to take a format that is also on the site, but I've just got also here just for. Uh, quickness and let's just grab a footer format so what we're going to do is we're trying to format just that little bottom part right so we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that inside here oh yeah there we go so now we've taken a gauge again this is a sample that's available to you right and now we've got a format here which is pretty cool but what i'm going to show you is the idea of a composed format so i have a footer format but i can go a little further in this case and in addition to my footer format right up at the top here, I'm going to apply a couple of generic things, hide the selection, hide the column header, and I have a row formatter, which in this case just hides every row. Very exciting format, but it has the effect of making this just this gauge, right? So that's exciting. So I save that, and what I could do with all of this, and the reason we did all this is if I go to my home site and I edit this page, I've got a, you know, got a couple of uh, two column sections here. I'm gonna grab the list web part, I'm going to grab my field notes list, right? And if I go and edit this, I could say the view on this one, we'll say is the recent comments. We'll just apply that, right? We'll turn these two off, so we'll hide those. All right, we'll come over here, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to say the list, add field notes, right? And we're going to say this view is the honeycomb. And let's make that a small boop, boop. I right, apply that. There's our honeycomb. And the other thing is we're going to make this one kind of small, too. The idea is I'm just using the list web parts all on different views of that same list, right? So this one, we're going to go grab that heat map view. I'll make this one a little bit bigger. I happen to know that one doesn't fit very well. Otherwise, right, we apply. And we've got our heat map. And then we come over here, and we're going to grab our list one last time. Field notes, and we're going to grab the gauge view. 
All right, we'll make that also small and hide these things. We'll apply and then we can add, you know, our titles here. We'll call this the average rating. You know, we'll call this um, states, you know, and so on, right? So we can have all these as, you know, recent comments. And then we'll make this as, you know, bitty bees. There we go. But the idea here is we've taken a single view of a list that's coming in from forms, right? And we've got all sorts of things hooked to that. We can do everything else. But now we're taking different views, both all of these, which are samples in our list formatting repo, and we applied them on a page, and we've essentially built a dashboard so we can watch as list items come in and see what's going on. So we have kind of an aggregate view here. We've also got a fancy map, right? And we can go further. We could link these things together. We could do all sorts of really, really neat stuff. And I didn't deploy a solution. I didn't have to write anything in Power BI. If I wanted to, I could have. Maybe I wanted to bring in, because it's a modern page, I want to bring in like a Twitter feed, right? I can mix and match all the other web parts with this and really create kind of a dynamic application. All right. So I know I'm over time, so I'm just going to jump back to the slides and then we'll be done. All right, there you go. That's about the list footer. Very exciting. Again, we have a dedicated video on that. If you want to look at a little more detail of how you might draw that, that sample the gauge is also available. Here are those links. I'm sure David's going to paste those in the chat for those that are joining the call live. Uh, but for everyone else, if you just go to that list formatting repo, uh, every single one of those I just showed is in the view samples. There's also some command bar prompt samples as well. And that's all I got. Thanks, everybody. Woo! Awesome. Thank you, Chris. There are uh, stables of stallions celebrating everywhere for the return of warrior horses. Very, very cool stuff. Mm -hmm.